Four Flakes will be on top of the world and loving life after their round seven victory over the Corn Flakers. But they need to keep their heads about them now because they are still struggling where it really matters on the leaderboard where bonus points and lack of are letting them down when it comes to keeping up with a team they just beat. The Corn Flakers above them still. Bonus points being key as the race to a home semi-final takes its toll. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Grip, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the subscriber series, the Global Rugby Challenge, where the All Flakes are back in action, travelling away to the Glasgow Warriors. Now here is the Glasgow side, a bit of change has happened in this side since we last seen them in the 2014-15 season, where the series is of course based off a lot of those successful guns have since left the Glasgow Warriors. The likes of the Game Breakers out wide, DTH Vandermarva and Sean Maitland, two notable names that have since left the Glasgow side. They are still struggling despite having these extra names in the team for this one last season and they will need a big win over only one of two undefeated sides in the series so far. The Guardians and the All Flags up the top of the leaderboard. Can the Glasgow Warriors find something, a weakness in the All Flags that no one has found yet? Here is the starting 15 for the All Flags, the team that has got first blood in the first ever matchup between the two subscriber sides. Here is their starting 15. Nicholas Freilander starts up front on the loose head side alongside Caleb Taylor and Brett Hartley who will start on the tight head side. Benjamin Grayson will partner Joshua Hetherington in the second row. Hamish Reeves, Sol Solomon and Marshall Hanna reunite a new look back row for the All Flakes. Into the back line and Sebastian Kyle who was impressive in round seven against the Flakers at fullback makes his way to scrum half for this matchup. In at number 10, Brandon Rudman will start the cutter. The centres will be Will Rogers and Mitchell Watley, who have been superb in the chances they have already received. On the wings, Logan Banks and Daniel Parker on the left and right, respectively, with Ruben Hauraki at fullback for the All Flakes. They need a win, and they need a bonus point here against Glasgow. Well, good to go on this one here, and it will be Glasgow kicking off through right. The inside centre going for two kicking options here. The Glasgow side, and up they go. Reid pulls in. Rogers with an early touch. Away to the hooker, Taylor. Taylor finds room, finds out to Banks. Here's an early chance for the All Flakes. But he's cut down. Great tackle at the back from Hogg. Quick recycle ball as Reed goes away to Grayson. Grayson runs the room. Rogers over the top. He goes to Watley. And this will be the first try. Mitchell Watley will open up for the All Flakes. And we are on the board already. Just four minutes into the game. It did not take long for the All Flakes to hit the mark. And they had the first try. They'll be wanting a couple more to get a bonus point as well. What a dominant start right from the whistle. Mitchell Hartley from the outset, dominant display from him as well. Try number one, the All Flakes, superb start. Numbers in width, still had Daniel Parker on his outside, unrequired. And another great try from Otley, we've seen some stunners from him. And if they keep giving him room like that, he will take advantage. Well, a great start to round eight. The All Flakes will be desperate, so desperate, to take five points from this one. And they start off with a nice try, converted as well. Rudman adds the extra two, and we are 7-0, the All Flakes, over the Glasgow Warriors. Well, the points are beating the minutes at the moment as back to halfway go Glasgow and up goes another kickoff. Solomon does well. Parker receives the ball in midfield. Glasgow fancy their chances of this ball and they will turn it over. The All Flakes, a mistake, getting some width on it there. Now they're wide looking through their back line and it's eventually going out to right. It's a good initial play from Jackson. Release. Glasgow just about reached the 22 here. They've been held up 
and they'll lose the ball as well. That is not a way to play it at all. Rogers gets the ball and he hammers it downfield. Waiting back there is Hogg. He'll return the kick. Straight to the arms. Oh, looks like a mark has been taken here from Rogers. The man who initially kicked the first ball away. Rudman has it now. Rudman taps, or Rudman's going to look to kick it after tapping. He's hit it over here to Hogg. It bounces on the 22, and it's a touch. Hogg can't stop it. What's an absolute stunner from Brandon Rudman. The All Flakes as well get the line out. What's a dreadful play from Hogg, the fullback for Glasgow. To the front, Kyle. Whips it out for Rogers. A few touches already. Lotley with another one. Way to Marshall Hannah. Nice ball to Reeve. Reeve is very elusive. But he has hit hard. Big tackle. Kyle. Kyle himself. Kyle. Almost all the way. Glasgow. Dedicated on the numbers here. They might have the scrum half over and they do. Now it's Paragos who goes for a bit of a run. Just about put down exactly the same spot. Rogers intercepts. The ball comes out. Reed pulls in. Ollie's involved again. Rudman away for Banks. Logan Banks has hit high. Well, oh, should have been a try. Should have been no contest. But a very, very malicious tackle has put him down. Rudman, or oh, Rudman taps. Rudman goes. Frontlander. Oh, look out. He's bulldozing. But he's held up. I think he's definitely held up by Reed. He was absolutely running a mock through the defense. But I think it's some superb counter tackling here. Bang! Oh, get out of the way, De Klerk. But Reed saves the day. That is held up every day of the week. No question about that. Great play, great first initial hit, but just the presence from Reed to stop that and hold up around the ball surely will be enough to stop this being a try. We are about to find out here. Surely no more looks. And yes, no try. Fine bit of scrum, but a great effort from Freilander almost getting himself a try. Crouch. Touch. Scrum feet still, pressure still on from the All Flakes. Glasgow needs to keep the defensive work up and their scrum has responded. What a turnaround here from Glasgow. They'll turn the scrum over and they'll be able to clear their line. Progos goes away to Vandermeer who gets hammered. All Flakes with numbers there, but it's all backs, and they're easily blown off the ball. Now they go for a run through the back. Strauss, Release. no way through there for him. All Flakes, numbers, over the ball. Got to be a chance, got to be a try. It's Daniel Parker. He is in for number two. Given half a chance, he dots down easily in the right-hand side, and it's numbers two try for the All Flakes. Well, Strauss was absolutely hammered. From Marshall Hanna, manhandled back there, only just saved it from going in as in goal. Great piece of work from Sol Solomon on the open side. Oh, what a tackle, Marshall Hanna. Get some of that into you, he says. The ball was always coming back to the All Flakes. And Parker, the easiest finish of his career, gets the second try. Well, this is looking very impressive so far from the All Flakes. They know they need bonus points. That is the key thing at the moment for them. Rudman. Oh, he's here. Hit that horribly. That is an atrocious kick there from Braden Rudman. Miles off the mark. Unsuccessful. 12-0, but it still looks one-way traffic. Again, back to halfway come Glasgow. The Warriors have not offered much in resistance to this very strong performance from the All Flakes. Otley again involves Solomon to Reeve. Reeve is still going. What a run from Hamish Reeve. Absolutely demolishing the defence. Sebastian Kyle oh. runs around. Oh, great tackle. 
pulls him down, heathering to no way from either. No Release. passes being made here from the All Flakes. Now one gets flat. Ronches, Ronches breaks. Ronches looks to support. Oh, over the head of Logan Banks, who would have been away. So, so close to being the third try. Will Rogers has decimated defenders as well in his wake. And you have to commend this team of the All Flakes who are doing great work. It's now Glasgow. Look wide. Otley makes a great tackle and a great turnover. Rogers again. Can't free the pass. Nice. One man saves the day there. Kyle Ladder Taylor has banked. It's a foot race. Here's the pace. Banks on the corner. Hog. Oh, Hog saves the day. Glasgow survived. Oh, look how fast Kyle is the breakdown. Rogers there. Reeve. Fernanda. Out the back to Hartley. Advantage all flakes. What four offside, I presume. The ball is dribbling away. And we will have a reset of play, surely. Offside against Glasgow. One-way traffic. Will we get a restart here? We'll find out. Yes, we will. Rudman again. He taps. And again he looks wide. Rogers to Otley. And there's the number two for the outside centre. Mitchell Otley has been so good in this matchup. We've seen some impressive performances from this man in the back line of the All Flakes week after week. He is a top performer even after missing last week's big match. He comes back and shows the team just what they missed out on. Great ball from Rogers, though. Do not give uh, any credit away from him because that was an impossible ball that he managed to shift around that tackle. Outside to Otley, who easily, calmly slid through for the try. Third try out. That's bonus point territory for the All Flakes. Here's Rudman. Half time is ringing. And it is over, it's 19 nil. Oh, one-way traffic here for the All Flakes. Just what they needed, a match like this to show the other sides that they're not just big game teams. They know how to put the points on the low runners as well. Well, here is the half-time stats and look at this absolute dominance from the All Flakes. Possession 83-17, territory 64-36. Both going to the All Flakes. Hanninger is 5-2. to two. Not too bad so far. And the high tackle count, of course, against Glasgow could have cost them. But they are doing okay so far. They have made triple tackles over triple tackles that the All Flakes have made. But all in all, three tries to zip, two conversions. This one looks all but over already. And there's only half time. Will the second 40 see plenty more points? We shall hope so. For all the All Flakes fans out there, let's get down and see what transpires. Rudman is back to halfway. He won't want to see this position again once a match is enough for him. Rudman gets the second half underway. 19-0. The All Flakes lead the Glasgow Warriors. Really? It's the first breakdown is going the way of Glasgow. Pergos fires wide, gives it to Wright, who gets a wobbly old kick away. One bounce into touch. All Flakes not interested at all in touching that. Not the best, but got it out of their territory. Cleared it away. A good portion as well. Five man line out for the All Flakes. Oh, it's pulled up, not straight. Oh, that is disappointing from Caleb Taylor. The basics of the game have eluded them. Crouch. Crouch. The option, of course, goes to Glasgow. See it. Retake the line out. Or, of course, take a scrum in the all flanks. Oh, look at that bulldozing run. Marshall Hanna runs himself. Run into Solomon. Reeve doubles round. Reeve's quick. He's through. Here's away. One for Rogers. Over the 22. And Will Rogers gets the try. Back in the all flanks. Back in the scoring. Wow, what a special, special piece of magic from the all flanks. 
try number four, and they are absolutely humming. Width on the ball, Will Rogers, too fast, too slick, and the try for the All Flakes. All from the turnover scrum as well. How good is this back row when you have all three of them breaking off the back of the scrum to give those massive amount of numbers back to the attacking team. The defence just could not cope. Hammer off the back, Solomon in tow, out to Reeve. Oh, it was a magical try to watch and the All Flakes look so very good in this matchup. It's little wonder they beat the Flakers last week in round seven when they're backing up with a performance like this. Wholesale changes. Only about five players staying from last week's match. And they still perform so well. Glasgow back to halfway. Kick off again. It's 26 0. It's Reed. The man who wanted to shout that last play. Finds Rudman, who somehow deposits the ball out there. Solomon gives to no one. The other ring turned into Harley. Harley running free. Has some friends quickly over the top, securing that ball. Hannah. Oh, Marshall Hannah! Look out! He's breaking free! Oh, he's a freak! He's done it now! Two weeks in a row! Phenomenal tries from Marshall Hannah! Oh, that is something out of the top draw from the big number eight! How does he do it? Watch this! Oh, that was just so elusive the way he fought the offside defender thinking he was going to pass. Then he straightened, stepped around Hogg, and away he goes, all the way to the try line. What a splendid play from Marshall Hanna. What a talent this big man is. So capable in so many positions. And to break away and score so quickly, so destructively, and as well as being so sleek in his running style. It is a joy to behold such amazing rugby like this. Well, we've seen the Guardians of the Crib absolutely destroy Munster, the final match of round seven. We are seeing this again. Now the All Flakes are doing it to Glasgow. And these subscriber sides are showing why they are one, two, and three. The pressure was put on the All Flakes. They beat the Flakers, but they're trailing on the table. May they put that to bed now as Hetherington gets a dodgy pass, but he makes it do. Glasgow pile in, but they don't find anywhere near the ball. Kyle, Rogers. Oh, big hefty hit on Rogers. Quickly in there, turnover! It's back for Glasgow! And breaking through the middle they go! Numbers here, they get it away from Reed, who goes nicely to Swinson. Oh, Hetherington gets it back! Banks runs around looking for some friends and some support. Trying to run away to Watley. Now he's some room! The all flakes! Break away, Vernon does well! Here's Parker! It's a running race again! Parker away! Dunbar is getting smoked! Oh, no chance at all. And another try for the All Flakes, who are so good. So very good in this match. Daniel Parker, a double for him tonight against Glasgow. And he showed his wheels there, away from Paragos and Hogg. No chance for them at all. There was a slight look at it from Dunbar early on, but he was nowhere in the frame. And this... Is one hell of a performance. Look at that pick up as well from Parker. It was almost at his knees. He took it with ease. And he absolutely screamed away. Just what you want your wingers to do. He is delivered for the All Flakes. But to be fair, very little competition coming from the Glasgow Warriors. We're nearing the 65th minute, and we're looking at 40 points. You can count them. That's 40 nil. Rudman adds the extras. And the All Flags. Wow. There's been some close matches in this series.
but this is not one of them. The All Flakes have absolutely dominated every passage of this game. Rogers away to Oli again. Now is another chance. Oli around Hall. Needs some friends. Gets it in Harley. Harley to Parker. Parker to Grayson. Grayson looking wide. Rodman can't do it. Look for Banks. Oh, disappointing. Really didn't take any risk. Took the option of going to a teammate. Using the support. Nearly paid off. Paul throws in to the middle he goes nicely pulled down from Glasgow they'll run it out through Strauss release makes it to the 22 Pergoso look how Marshall Hammer is destroying everyone he might turn this over as well he will oh, I cannot believe it back to Taylor here's Banks Logan Banks one on one of Hogg oh he's cut down what a tackle Kyle, oh way to no one and the ball is turned over Parker quickly in that right in centre field Vernon looks for width finds Vernon Merva who just goes to touch well that's a real sign of this match here when Vernon Merva gets some space out wide chased by number 8 who to be fair has some wheels but still opts for the kick to touch the front is Grayson. Solomon in midfield to Hannah. Hannah gets the wheels again. Marshall Hannah gets the defense together. And Munchawatli is in for another try. This will be the final say of the game. Munchawatli. Oh, what an absolute display from the old flakes. Running out of superlatives for this team at the moment. How good. Has Marshall Hannah been? Absolutely phenomenal. That's how good. You can almost say he's put his name in lights for player of the week already. The team of the week, number eight, will need an absolute stellar performance to knock him out. Mitchell Watley as well outside centre. They have carved up the Christmas ham here. Have the All Flakes. Absolutely no competition whatsoever from Glasgow. It's 45 nil. Rudman to have the final say. Once he hooks to the left, unbelievable. He has kicked superbly apart from two absolute dreadful kicks. 45 to nil. Bonus point in the bag. Win in the bag. And the All Flakes make a statement here against Glasgow. And what a statement it is as well. 45 nil over one of the top sides from recent Pro 12 history. A great team on paper that did not show us a single thing of their greatness here tonight. The All Flakes absolutely destroyed the Glasgow Warriors here in round eight of the Global Rugby Challenge. 45 nil. Obviously nothing at all for the Glasgow Warriors, but for the All Flakes, Marshall Hanna and Will Rogers with one try apiece. Oh, Otley actually picked up a hat trick. I thought he only got two, but he got three tries. An unbelievable display from Mitchell Otley. Three tries. A hat trick, a rare hat trick in the Global Rugby Challenge. As for Parker, L on the right wing, Daniel Parker, two tries, two very, very good winger tries as well. But what a display. Otley with a hat trick. That has to go down as one of those rare things. Not many hat tricks in the Global Rugby Challenge so far from the subscriber sides. Rudman, a decent night to boot as well. Five from seven. Wow, look at that position. 85 15, one sided, complete. Dominance from the All Flakes. 60 40 territory, one way traffic once again, and the tackle count 56 to 20. So over double, nearly triple the tackles for Glasgow compared to the All Flakes. Line breaks 11 to 3. A massive difference as well. That is it 
for this game. Round eight underway with an absolute barnstormer by the All Flakes. Let's see if this puts them up the table with five points confirmed for the All Flakes. But first, let's have a look at the other, oh, just one result since that All Flakes win, 45-0 over the Glasgow Warriors. It was Claremont with a 19-17 win over the Saracens. A great looking match between those two very strong European sides. Next match we have up is the Guardians of the Crib up against Ospreys for just the two matches of round eight with the Flakers having the bye for round eight. They're back in round nine though against Glasgow, the team that just got thumped. And then the big one, the massive one, the absolute cruncher, the All Flakes get their big matches out of the way in three weeks up against the Guardians of the Crib. Their first encounter with another subscriber side that is game two of round nine. So get your tickets ready and going for that one. I cannot wait for that to get underway. But let's have a look at the standings. That is the big thing at the moment. The Guardians of the Crib still lead the way. Seven wins from seven matches, 33 points. Again, it is the bonus points that is putting them ahead. Five bonus points from their seven games. The All Flakes, just three. Before today, they were just two from six. So they've got it up there, got another bonus point. That's what they needed to do. You look at the Flakers and you can see why the Flakers are doing well. Although they lost that match, they are still six bonus points in the bank. And now all three sides are on level, uh, level matches as well. All played seven games up to this point. Just three points separate them. Guardians 33, All Flakes 31, and the Flakers on 30. The other side's really fading away now. Too long again, I have to put in something impressive to try catch the Flakers. They are only five points behind, as are Clermont as well. But again, it's bonus points that are the key. So that does us for today. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Hope you're enjoying the subscriber series. Do not mind my voice at the moment. It seems to be a bit on the poor side, but hopefully it will improve back to normal very, very soon. The Guardians of the Crib are up against Ospreys for the next match, the final match of round eight. So I hope to see you all there for that one. Should be a cracker. The Guardians will look to consolidate that spot at the top of the table. So thank you for tuning in and watching. Hope you've all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.